There's a gentleman from Texas is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. At this time, I'm pleased to recognize my colleague on the Energy and Commerce Committee, a valuable, valuable member of the Republican Conference, Mr. Carter of Georgia, for two minutes. General from Georgia is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding. Mr. Speaker, I rise to oppose the previous question so that we can immediately consider H.R. 6858 to begin unleashing America's energy dominance. From day one, from minute one, of the, of the Biden administration, the war on energy independence began. We all woke up this morning to see gas at $4.52 a gallon, the highest sticker price I've ever seen in my lifetime. The day President Biden took office, gas was a mere $2.38 a gallon. Policies have consequences, and we are feeling the consequences of the Biden administration of their decision to cancel the Keystone XL pipeline, restrict drilling on federal lands, and increase our reliance on foreign dictators for oil and gas. Yet somehow, this administration has learned nothing from the failures of their first year in office. Last week, Biden, President Biden again canceled offshore oil and lease sales in the Gulf Coast and Alaska. This was a mere two days after he addressed the nation and blamed everyone but himself for his inflation crisis. The only thing lower than Biden's approval rating is the purchasing power of the American dollar. Washington Democrats have the House. They have the Senate. They have the White House. No matter how much the president deflects the responsibility for our inflation crisis, it squarely falls on his shoulders. By bringing up H.R. 6858 for consideration, Republicans are offering Democrats the chance to correct the past 16 months of America's last energy policies. Mr. Speaker, we must end our assault on its energy sector. Unlike the Democrat Socialist Price Fixing Act, this bill gets at the heart of our energy crisis and takes steps to resolve it. Thank you, and I yield back.